beautiful Maddie squad! My name is Madison Brunaler, also known as Maddie to the Max, and welcome to Roll Call! This is a fun game started by, I believe, Broadway.com, where the actors are asked a series of questions and they answer with characters from their resume. Get it? Roll call? Like, a role that they've played? Ah! It's a pun! So it's so me! You're about to learn a whole lot more about me! This is Maddie from the end of this video, uh, saying that she forgot to tell you something at the beginning of the video, and you can tell because I changed things on the wall now. But I'm saying, now, if you want to play along, please do so in the comments below. Tell me your answers to these questions. Let's go! Role that you felt sexiest in. Hmm, I don't do a lot of sexy characters. Ooh, here we go. Narcissa Malfoy from The Great Wizarding War. She is the definition of poise and grace and elegance, and I just love the way I feel when I play Narcissa, and I just can't get enough of it. Role your family loves the most. Ooh, role my family loves the most. Oh, okay, um... Oh, Bobby from Three Little Pigs and the Magic Lamp, which ironically is also my mother's name, but it's spelled with an I. This character was actually one of the very first characters I ever voice acted for. I know for sure that my mom really has good memories of me playing this character, because she was actually there with me in the recording studio. Role that made you feel like a star. A star, star. I'm gonna have to go with Bobby again, because that time being in the recording studio was like so unbelievably right. It felt so easy and natural, and it was just like, yes, this is, this is, this is absolutely correct. And it was just, it made me feel so glamorous. Role you were wrong for. Role I was wrong for. Mary Ann Marlowe from When Gil Hooley was in Flower. This was a stage reading I did, and while it was fun to do a nice southern drawl and get in a costume, this character was so, like not strong. What the director ended up having me do wasn't what I wanted to do with the character. Roll you totally nailed. All of these. <laughs> no. Narcissa Malfoy again. I was so ready for this character. I'd already had such a fascination with Narcissa before I even got to audition for this, and I already loved so much of what uh, Broad Strokes was doing that I already knew kind of what the feel of it was, and I got some really, really good advice before my callback, and I just felt so powerful and still so powerful, and I just... I nailed that one. Role that you would want to play again. Ah, oh, yes. Sailor from Explorer Academy. I love this character. I wish there had been more of a series. I only got to do the pilot and it didn't get picked up, which makes me really sad, but it was such a fun character and I loved it and I loved the vibe of the show and the writing and I just loved all of it and I wish I'd gotten to play her more and I wish I could play her again. Role that scared you the most. Ooh. Chocolate Bean from Video Game High School. Or maybe it was Chocolate Raisins. Or actually I think the official name was Social Gamer Number 2. I had one line. And I was so nervous because I really wanted to be a part of this series, and I finally was, and I got the part, and I was just so nervous that I feel like I couldn't remember my lines on set. <laughs> the line was so weird, it was such a weird line that made no sense until I saw it in full context of the show after it was done. It was, uh, I can finally get chocolate raisins on the way to, uh, Pokemon Parkour Gymnasium or something crazy like that. I could finally have chocolate raisins on the way to Celebrity Pokemon! I would like to do that part again, just to actually get it right. Roll you are most recognized for. I know exactly which one. Happy Frog from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> People find out that I'm in Five Nights at Freddy's and they're like, Really? Oh my gosh! I have actually signed pops of my character, and that makes me feel very special. Roll that was a blast. Elizabeth Butterfly from Ship Wars. <laughs> Playing the personified version of my ship. I was so happy. Yes, I could be loud and crazy and adore my ship. Woo! Roll you could do in your sleep. Mel from Dreadnautical. Not only could I do it in my sleep, I could do it with a broken leg. I recorded this character while my leg was still in a cast. It was like, yes, I can still totally be a voice actor with a broken leg. Thank goodness! But she had just a little bit of a Jersey accent. She was a tough mechanic. She was so much fun and just loud and out there in your face and it just came so naturally. Love Mel. She's great. Role that was the most fun. I'm going with Narcissa again. I had so much fun in the sound studio with all the rest of the cast. I got there, I think my call time was like one and I got there at 11 and I stayed till six and I didn't have to, but I just wanted to hang out with these people that were creating this amazing thing. And then actually being in the studio recording this character with all the other actors was awesome. 
If you haven't listened to The Great Wizarding War, watch it now! Roll with the best costume. Hmm. Ah. Princess Eliana from Chasing Shadows. I got to be a princess, wear a pretty dress, run around in a forest, wearing a tiara, and I had a golden butter knife. Deadly weapon right there. <laughs> role that changed you the most. I'm not sure there is a role that changed me. Oh, Narcissa! I keep saying that! I'm sorry, but Narcissa is queen. It just kind of, it, it, it changed the way that I looked at auditions and especially callbacks because I was so nervous for this callback because I wanted it so badly. And I had gotten the callback and I was like, okay, this is gonna happen. How do I not blow it because I want it? I see it in my head. How do I not totally screw it up? And I actually got some uh, really good advice from Jenna Elfman who told me, treat the callback like it's the performance. Give it all in the performance in the callback. Don't hold anything back. And I think that that is a piece of advice that people hear a lot, but I think what it did for me was it was like, oh, this is my performance time. This callback is my performance time. This is where I bring it all out and have the most fun and play with the other actor. So I, I think that really changed the way that I really look at callbacks and to a degree auditioning. Role you wish more people saw. Specs from Wubo's World. So Wubo is this interactive AI stuffed animal thing uh, to help kids learn. And Specs is one of the characters in this AI world. And I think very few people actually got this toy to see him, which makes me very sad because I loved him very, very, very much and he's just so cute. Role that was most like you. Morgan from Disorganized Zone. Morgan was a very nice character that uh, got along with her parents. She was coming home from college for the holidays and was just visiting and was really happy and was gonna go shoe shopping with her mom. I'm like, that's so me. Oh my gosh. Not to mention the woman that played my mom is an amazing human being. And she's also in the Clerks movies. And she's so sweet. So every time I see her, I'm like, hi mom. Role that came the easiest. Kilgore from My Life as a Teenage Robot Rebooted. Not the first impression I ever learned to do, but a very close first impression I learned to do was Timmy Turner's voice. So then going to Kilgore was just making Timmy angry and shouting. So that was Roll Call! Were there any questions you were surprised by the characters I answered with? Please let me know in the comments! Were there any characters that you were surprised I didn't talk about? Fan art of the week goes to It's Poorly Drawn for this amazing Beth fan art. For those of you that don't know, Beth is one of my OCs over on TikTok. Just look at this. This is so good. This is so good. And I love the little Mortimer that you had on her shoulder. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. With the little scales. I want you to change your username to It's Not Poorly Drawn. You are so good at drawing. If you want to have your art featured in Fan Art of the Week, then you can tag me at Maddie to Max on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, and your art could be featured in the next fan art of the week. And from now until next time, don't you forget to keep smiling. Mwah! Where they asked askers, where they asked, asked actors. No, that's not, I didn't say that right. That, that wasn't said right. Hold on, let me try that again. Okay. Where they put things. Okay. Mwah! Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Kiss, let's go. There we go. Yes, that was a bad idea.